Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to work with tray files and how to tell the difference between a tray file and a package one. Last year, I made a tutorial on how to download and install tray files for Sims 4. Now, ever since I uploaded that video, I've gotten a lot of the same questions. I felt like I probably could have done a lot better. I have some of those questions and they're still not answered and you're still not able to do any of the following which I'm about to show you guys then please stay tuned for the end. So the first thing you gotta do is go to your website by choice and for me that will be the Sims resource pretty much because it's what I've been using ever since Sims 2 and I absolutely love it. As well as it's free and there's loads and loads of things to find doing it. Go away. So I'm gonna open it. See a couple of files popped up. All that you're looking for is located in my month. Go to Electronical Arts, so your basic Sims 4 um, gaming folder. Um, I do not have any mods currently installed on this laptop, but I do have some tray files which I can show you. These are the ones we just downloaded today. So as you guys can see, I just put them in here and there's really nothing to it. I am Now, I have heard before that just didn't have the um, the right folder. So all you have to do if you do not have this folder is just right click make a new folder and call a tray and the game should automatically recognize this. So, so we're just gonna start up the game now and locate the house. So we want to go to the gallery and you gotta make sure that you are online. It might just work. So what you want to do is obviously there's not anything showing up right here and usually everything you download is coming up as custom content. So what you want to do is go to the bottom and bottom and select um, include custom content. So you just want to check this one on. Sorry, my version is in Dutch, unfortunately. So here it is. This is the one I downloaded. It looks exactly like, you know, the one I downloaded. Because it is. So yeah, guys, that is all there is to it. Um, I will be answering some questions now. Any other questions I won't have answered at the end of this video, please leave them down below. Alright guys, on to the questions. Which files should only be in the tray folder? These ones. Is it the same for Windows Vista and Windows 10? I think the general layout of the folders and where to find your, you know, your folders, your electronic arts map, I think that might be different. I'm not entirely sure. Like I said, I don't have either of those. But I, however, whatever you need to make it work is not any different. You still need um, to put your package in mods, you still need to put the tray files, the lost sims in the tray folder. Um, you still need to do that in order for it to work. So no, there's not much difference. But yeah, what do I need to open it? Okay, you either need WinSim, WinWord, or 7SIP. That's what I use. It won't open. If the folder you're trying to open not opens, there is a chance that either you already have opened it and it is it won't show up. I wish I could give you a specific reason why some certain CT items just doesn't show up, but there just absolutely is no explanation. Some CC just doesn't show up, it's just the way it is. But the general CC item should show up, and if it doesn't, try including the show custom content settings. How do I tell package files and tray files um, from each other? So package files will have dot package at the end of the file name sorry <laughs> how do I tell pack placing a lot but I cannot seem to make it work why is it not working okay so this is a question I've been getting a lot and that is probably because you have to be in build mode to do it so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that even though it's not really related to this to this video but it is a quick go to your gallery excuse me that's not the gallery go over here to my library um, or pick a house um, you know, pick a house and then place it, or you can just go directly into build mode and then gallery and then place a house. Now you have to keep in mind that at one, if you don't have enough money, there is no way you can place this house. Second of all, if the house is too big for the lot size, you cannot place this house as well. If you have these two things both and it still doesn't work, try going into build mode and then placing the house. Sometimes I can't find the CC when I download the house. Now I have mentioned this before, but if you have custom content in a house and you download the house, there is no way the custom content is going to come with the house. house. This is just basically because the game is allowing you to have a house that somebody else built or a sim that somebody else built into your game. 
but it is not of any purpose to bring any custom content. That is why um, custom content is, you know, custom content because it adds something to the game. It's like a mod. Um, you know, it's a mod. It interferes with the game's original plans. That's why all the, you know, clothes, hairs, all custom content goes into the mods folder and not in the tray file. Because tray is just used for, you know, I guess the shell, if that makes sense, like the shell of whatever you want, and not so much of the content within it. So, for instance, that would be all the, you know, clothes. When I try to place a lot, it says system error. Do you have any ideas? Um. Not a clue. Most likely, it can be a faulty CC. It can be not you don't have the requirements. Um, maybe you're missing a certain expansion pack before you can use the house. I'm not sure. I'm really sorry. I wish I could be much more of a use. Where is your Sims 4 folder? My documents, Electronic Arts, Sims 4. That's where it should be for me. At least, at least there. That's where it is for me. Sorry. Mm, sorry. English. What about chairs and other stuff? Chairs and other stuff would be custom content, so those would go in mods. When I put those files into my game, my game won't start. Definitely get them out because it is faulty CC and it's messing up your game. Now I'm reading, a lot of you guys have system errors. Like I said, make sure, double check, make sure it's a good CC item, make sure you're logged in um, just in case, make sure your house is big enough, make sure you have the expansion pack, and also make sure you have the right amount of money. Just make sure you have all those, and if it still doesn't work, I'm so sorry. There is absolutely no thing I can think of that I could do or help you with. Is it the same for the regular Sims 4 as well as the looks? There is no difference. If I put many things in my mods folder, the game stops working. Is there a way to solve limit the CC? Um, switch between CC items? I, you know, it's probably just too much CC items. The same thing works for adding sims as well, right? Yep. Do I have to make the tray folder? If it's not there, you definitely do. If it's there, just use it. Alright guys, I think that's about it for all the questions. If you have anything other to ask me, please leave a comment down below. And I will get right to it. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. And until next time. Bye guys. Get right to it. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. And until next time. Bye guys.